This video will discuss the second law of thermodynamics. So the second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy of an isolated system cannot decrease during any physical process. So notice that I have isolated underlined twice and starred twice because this is an extremely important caveat that this only applies to isolated systems. So we saw that entropy in the previous few videos is an extensive state function, which is a measure, a quantitative measure of the disorder or how well distributed the energy levels of the system are. So it, it's a measure of disorder. It can't decrease. It can only stay the same or increase. And this is for isolated systems. So the, the entropy of an isolated system, the disorder of an isolated system must stay the same or increase over time. So this doesn't apply to closed systems. It doesn't apply to open systems. Those have entirely different metrics for what has to decrease or increase over time. And we'll get to those functions in good time. But now, for, for right now, we're looking at isolated systems and the metric which must stay the same or increase for all processes is the entropy. So this can be described by what's called the Clausius inequality, where ds is greater than or equal to the heat divided by the temperature. So it's equal to dq over t when a process is reversible. For reversible processes, the entropy of an isolated system is staying the same. And it's greater than when the process is irreversible. So the entropy is greater than dq over t for an irreversible process where the entropy of the isolated system is increasing. All right, so the second law of thermodynamics is saying that the entropy change for the universe, which is the ultimate isolated system containing all physical matter, is greater than or equal to zero for any physical process. So the entropy of the universe can only increase over time. So a summary of the first two laws of thermodynamics thus far as we have said them. You could say they apply to the universe or any isolated system, but the universe is the ultimate isolated system. So the energy change of the universe is equal to zero, conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It always must be just transferred between locations in the universe. And the second law that the entropy of the universe is it changes uh, in a positive or zero way during any physical process. The entropy change of the universe for any process is greater than or equal to zero. We cannot decrease the entropy of any isolated system or the universe.